From small town dreamer to big time showman, Squatch has done it all. Tonight, we find out the real story. How a quiet, young Sasquatch with a vision became the biggest star in the known universe. Squatch, behind the mascot. Hailing from the Cascade Mountains, Squatch longed to make his own way in an environment that didn't encourage the mascot way of life. As a youngster, he performed at his school's talent show, hoping that a mascot scout from the big city would accidentally stumble into his forest of dreams. Upon graduating from grammar school, Squatch left the quiet solitude of the hills for the bustling hub and unlimited promise only a town like Seattle can give. Sonic's guard, Desmond Mason. Squatch taught me everything I know except how to shave. My father taught me that. Sonic Center, Jerome James. Squatch. What can you really say about Squatch? Working tech support at a Seattle accounting firm to make ends meet, Squatch spent his nights hiring himself out as a mascot to those in need of a little pep. And then one fateful night in 1993, the mascot scout for the Sonics happened to be enjoying dinner at a restaurant while Squatch was working. Rupert Harris, mascot scout. I was blown away. He was playing the drums and dunking, and there wasn't even a drum set or a basketball hoop in the restaurant. He was that good. I immediately approached him and told him to expect a call. Uh, when he explained he didn't have a phone and never spoke, I was even more impressed. Brent Berry, friend. I mean, Squatch had money everywhere. I mean, there was money in his hair, there was money under his hairy arms, there was money in the washing machine. But hey, that doesn't change Squatch. Through the highs and lows of his illustrious career, Squatch has artfully revealed his secret passions, his pain, and his personal triumphs through his dunks. Each dunk is like a love letter to his loyal fans. 